Hey, you guys. I was having a little bit of a struggle there, but today is Wednesday, and I will say I had a wonderful 4th of July, and um, I'm getting ready to head on into work. I'm kind of early today, so I'm about to head on into work. And I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, it's a little toasty in here. So, um, yeah, we went to um, Bird Park yesterday and we watched the fireworks, me and the kids and my nephew-in-law. Um, um, we all took them to see the fireworks and stuff. And um, I made a wonderful dinner, me and my mom. She made some um, barbecue ribs and I made some barbecue chicken, potato salad. It was delicious. It was so good. And we had like a vegetable, corn on the cob. Yeah, we had corn on the cob. So it was really good. Um, I, um, I think I posted a couple of pictures on, it, on another vlog that I posted and put up. I'm kind of behind in some of my fo of my footage, you guys, and I do apologize for that. Let me just say that, you know, right now I kind of apologize because I'm still kind of in a little bit of a jet lag mode, I, I would guess you could say. I mean, if that makes sense. Um, I'm still kind of like in jet lag mode and... Also, you know, I remember I, I, a couple of vlogs back, I talked to you guys about a journey that I was going to go through with meeting this new guy, and it actually fell through again. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because I didn't think that that would happen with him, and I really don't know what happened, to be honest. I, I don't know what happened. Um... I mean, we had a couple good moments together that we, you know, shared or whatever. He came by. I thought our conversations were good, but I guess not. Um, I mean, like I said, to be honest, I really could not tell anybody at this point where I went wrong. Cause I, don't, I don't know. I'm really lost. Um, so, you know. And I'm sure, like, as sure as my shit don't stink, um, they always come back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure he's gonna come back around and be like, with this bullshit ass example or reasoning as to why we kind of fell off. But honestly, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the bullshit. I don't want to hear your lies. I don't want to hear your excuses because communications go both ways so you know I I don't know I don't know where we went wrong I don't know where the start of a new relationship went left I really couldn't tell you but what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna go and chase after nobody I, that, that's one thing Roberta is not I'm not a chaser so don't think I'm gonna be this bitch you about to chase or that's about to chase you, and then you're making a complete ass of her. No, that's not how I roll, baby. So, needless to say, I have, like I said, I've been kind of up uploading videos and giving you guys just a little, you know, picking up the camera every so often just to give you guys some footage. Um, normally, I do, like I said, I do my Wednesday Chronicles, but since there is no real Chronicle, that I'm feeling at this moment to express my thoughts and stuff on because like I said I don't like um, Real Housewives of Potomac I don't watch that um, I'm losing the whole concept of love and hip hop Atlanta and I think it's mainly because I'm tired I've been very exhausted and so you know maybe that's the reason why I'm just not staying on top of it right now Plus, I've been really trying to make it so I get to work on time and I'm not late because I don't want to jeopardize anything with my points. I know I should be having some fall off for the month of July. So, 
you know, at least until I can give my cousin Kishana my um, my resume for her to get me in at this job of hers. I need to stay on my P's and Q's over here, you know, just in case I want to have and maintain two jobs. I mean, I really don't know. It just depends on how my scheduling is or whatever. Because I really, you know, if they can match, my cousin was telling me they match what um, you currently make or they even give you more than what they feel you should deserve. To my daughter, never leave a bad taste. Never, ever, ever leave a bad taste with another job. Don't do that. I, every job I feel like I have left, I think I've left it with a good taste in their mouth. I don't think I've ever left a job where they can be like, ugh, we hated Roberta. Or, ugh, she was the worst employee ever. Or, you know, I never, ever left a job where um, I was subjected to something like that. So... No, never. I mean, young young ladies and gentlemen out there, if y'all are listening, you know, don't ever leave a job where they have negative things to say about you because that's how you can use those other jobs as references. So I always try to let everybody know out there, you know, I try to at least speak something into positivity at one point or the, and the other. Always... Um, Leave a good taste with the job that you left behind. Because if you have a college, if you want to ever go to college or if you ever want to go to another job in, in the corporate world, you will need those jobs as references. You know what I'm saying? It's just because, oh, okay. So, and I know there's a lot of young teenagers out there or young adults out there. They will, um, you know, get these jobs. It could be like a little. Popeye's job or church's chicken job or whatever, a Target job. And you're like, oh, that was just that job. It don't matter. They matter. Those jobs are the main ones that matter. <laughs> I mean, because that means you were able to work in a work ethic environment with a bunch of people. So that right there starts from the, you know, that how they look at you. So people keep that in mind. I'm so serious when I say keep it in mind because you don't ever want to leave a bad taste in another job with another job because they may if some people think oh they're going to do a background check on me blah 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 or if I can write the last job that I worked at and I can go and pick another job no they could be like no I'm going to go to the records pull your social and find where you worked and they can say, oh, she didn't put this on her application where she worked, um, so and so and so. That wasn't disclosed on her application. I wonder why, you know. And then you're going to get looked upon as you lied on your application. Okay, you don't want that, people. You do not want to get looked upon like you lied on your application because they're going to be like, okay, why did she go to this job? This job was like five years ago. The other job was like just six months ago. Why didn't she put that one on a reset? Put your most recent job. Not the one you feel you did good at. That's not what we said, people. So, guys, just something to say. Be mindful and understand that you cannot... It just doesn't, it just, it, it's not worth lying or leaving a bad taste and always look to the future and making better choices and better decisions and stuff, so. Like I said, I got here kind of early today, so I think I'm gonna, you know, take my time with getting in here. Um, Today I brought for lunch a Jamaican beef patty and some of the barbecue chicken that I made. And I'm so excited. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm okay. Um, let me pause this right quick. Okay, guys. About to go into work. Very simple outfit today. Nothing major. But, um, so, I hope today's not going to be a crazy day up in here because I'm really not in the mood today. So, um, yep. 
So, uh, anyway, I have to kind of put my makeup very simple today. And my hair is simple today. I'm not doing too much with this. But I have to bring my lotion in because my hands be getting ashy. So, I brought my lotion in here. I'm gonna tell them, I'm like, look, we are black. We need lotion at our desk. Clear desk policy, my ass. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> anyway. So, guess I'll talk to you guys later. And hope everybody has a good day.